What's up Ram Squad and welcome back. So for today we have yet another Mortal Kombat 11 leak video and for today's video we have a leak that talks about an hourglass edition of MK11. But before we get into any of that, be sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so this leak came out just yesterday I believe and like I said it talks about an hourglass edition of MK11 which I'm guessing is the name for the final complete edition of the game. I'm not sure. I haven't even read through the leak myself. But anyways, with that being said, let's just get right into it. So go ahead and check that out. Now, as always, I'm going to read it first and then we'll discuss it. So this leak says, Hi everyone. Last night I was given some info by a buddy who has a couple friends over at Netherum Studios in Chicago. I was told some information about the future of MK11 DLC as well as the final edition of MK11 called the Hourglass Edition. Combat Pack 2 includes 6 brand new characters, releasing over time along with 7 premium skins and 6 skin packs. The characters included in Combat Pack 2 are Smoke, Havoc, Melina, Takeda, Harley Quinn, and Ash Williams. Earlier today, MK Director Ed Boon apparently deconfirmed Ash Williams after I got this information. I'm not sure if this is damage control or not, but from what I've been told, this is the lineup of the next package at the moment. The pack will start off with Smoke seeing a release date of October of October 13th, then Havoc releasing December 15th, Malina releasing on February 2nd, Takeda releasing April 16th, April 6th, Harley Quinn releasing May 25th, and finally Ash Williams releasing July 20th, 2021. Each character will come with an exclusive skin pack and premium skin. I have not been told the content of the skin packs. Mortal Kombat 11 Hourglass Edition is a complete and final edition of the game. All players will receive two new characters for a free final update, Sector and Cyrax. The Hourglass Edition comes with four final stages for free as well as the Living Forest, the Pit, Subway Station, and Jensei Chamber. Uh, stage fatalities will be included in the Living Forest, pit, the Pit, and the Subway Stages. The Crypt Expansion includes a brand new area you can travel to where you can find new gear for all characters including DLC. All characters will get 5 new skins and, the, and pieces of gear for customization. In Towers of Time, 20 new stages in the game's infamous gauntlet mode will be added as well. The Hourglass Edition will include all DLC content including characters, skins, and Aftermath Story Mode expansion. It will be available sometime in August 2021 for the Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, PC, and Stadia in stores and digitally. Thank you for reading, I'm glad I could share with you all. Alright guys. So man, was that a lot. And as you can see, what I really like about this leak is that he actually mentioned Ed Boon's tweets over the past days that have been really confusing. He's been deconfirming characters, uh, giving hints to other characters that could be coming to the game. And the fact that this guy actually referenced that definitely gives me a little bit of credibility towards the leak. Now, another weird thing about the leak, which is something that we don't see in almost any leak, is that he gave specific release dates for every character literally saying april 6th may 25th october 13th so that was really something to notice because like i said that's not something that other leagues have they'll just say oh yeah it's releasing sometime in october sometime in may but this guy literally has a specific days now like always take this with a grain of salt because i don't know how real or fake this is but at least in my opinion this one does seem rather real now i'm not saying it's real i just I'm saying that I think this one is more real than the other ones, or should I say more credible than other leaks. Now with that being said, it could still be fake, I don't know, but anyways let me know your thoughts and opinions on this leak in the comment section down below. Now for the comments of the day, so first up we have, Scarecrow is next DLC, you heard it here. Alright guys, so I wanted to put this one because I actually heard a lot of people saying that Scarecrow could be coming to MK11, and the main, I guess the main uh, factor in this is that Ed Boon tweeted out of the second clue for the next DLC character and he, he put a Freddy Krueger traitor of his of a Nightmare on Elm Street and as you guys know Scarecrow in Injustice 2 was voiced by the voice actor of Freddy, of Freddy Krueger. So I don't know, a lot of people are saying that because of that Scarecrow's coming, I don't know if he is, I really doubt it but who knows. Next up we have, notice how Ed Boon has not deconfirmed Harley Quinn. Yeah, that's something pretty interesting because, like I said, Edwin has been on Twitter deconfirming characters left and right. He deconfirmed Michael Myers, he deconfirmed Ash Williams, and I think he deconfirmed either Rain or Smoke, one of those. 
So, I don't know, like, th that's pretty weird that he's deconfirming a bunch of characters, yet he hasn't said a word about Harley Quinn, which is a character who's been in so many leaks. And lastly we have, now the Molina fans know how the Rain fans feel. Yeah guys, the, the pain of not getting our most favorite character is real. I'm just kidding guys, I really don't care. I mean, for me, a game is enjoyable because of how it's played and all the mechanisms and the fighting style. For me, I would never be like, yo, if that character is not in the game, I I'm not going to play it. Like, I don't know. I know there's a lot of people like that. Oh, if Melina doesn't make it, I'm not going to play it anymore. I don't know. For me, I enjoy a game for what it is, not the characters in it. Although, getting characters you want is awesome. I'll still enjoy the game regardless. But anyway, guys, let me know all your thoughts and opinions on this in the comment section down below. Other than that, be sure to say subscribe for more videos just like this one. Thank you for watching and peace.